Hello, we are here to cook a spicy corn chowder. It's thick, it's milky, it's creamy, and it has a real kick to it. Like chowders should be, it's much thicker than a regular soup, and it is perfect for the winter. Let's cook it. All right, let's do it. First things first, we need to heat up the milk and the vegetable broth. Let's do it. So how much milk is that? That is exactly one cup of milk and one cup of vegetable broth. Okay. Or about 250 ml yeah. of each. We'll give that a good stir in a second. It's important not to heat it up too quick. If you heat them up too fast and they boil, then the fats will separate and it will look pretty skanky. Yeah, true. And the milk can burn as well, I guess, right? It can indeed. Okay. While the milk and the veggie broth are heating up, we're going to chop the onion into little pieces and get it cooking in the butter. Sounds good. Half a bell pepper is going in next. Okay, a chili pepper is going in next. Put the chili pepper, depending on how spicy you like it. Scraping out the seeds brings the heat down a lot. I do actually like it, so I guess I'm going to leave it in, but I just wanted to show you. Okay, we're going to get this finely diced as well. We don't want too many big pieces. Butter first. How much is that? That is a knob of butter. Yeah, a good knob. A large knob of butter, we'll call it. All right. Half an onion, diced. This is on a medium heat. All because right. We don't want the butter to burn, that's very important. Once the onion and the butter is cooking, we're going to get a tablespoon of flour in there and give it a good mix around. This is to make the chowder thicken up later. That smells delicious. Already. Yeah, it does already. Next is half a diced bell pepper. Follow that quickly with the already drained and rinsed corn. How much is that? That is one can, roughly a cup, 285 grams, probably 15 ounces. <laughs> We're guessing. Yes. <laughs> Chili pepper next. That is half a chili pepper for a medium to high spice level. Give it again, stir. Mm -hmm. And in fact, we're starting to stick on the bottom a little bit. So we're going to tip in a bit of our milk because we don't want it to all burn on the bottom. Sure. Okay, we'll let that cook for a couple of minutes. Then the milk and broth is going in. Almost at the last stage, the hot but not boiling milk and the veggie broth is going in. Ooh. Give it about another five minutes to simmer. One teaspoon of cumin, two teaspoons curry powder, another stir, and we'll let it simmer for five minutes. Okay, and finally our grated cheddar is about half a cup in there. The more mature cheddar, generally the better, up to about 18 months. And that is thickening up nicely already. Okay, our chowder is ready. So you can have a look there, it's looking quite, quite nice and thick actually. If you feel like your chowder needs to be thickened more, you can always put in another spoonful of flour or some cornstarch, but this is looking just right. That is going to be a fantastic corn okay. chowder. I'm very hungry, so I'm looking forward to this, yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're ready to serve, and here we go. So we'll have a ladle or two in there. Okay. Yeah, this looks very good. Then we're going to fill it up. A few spring onions as a garnish, with a bit of contrast to the soup, to the chowder. But it falls under the category soup, doesn't it? Yes. I guess, I don't know. Probably Americans know. Okay, and that's it, right? That's it. We're ready to eat. Right, that is it from us, from our chowder, our spicy corn cheesy chowder. We're gonna say goodbye there. If you like this recipe, if you like watching this video, if you just like watching us, then click the like button under the video 
Also feel free to click subscribe and the little bell button. That will help us a lot. Enjoy your corn chowder and we'll see you soon. Bye.